Hello everyone. Happy morning. My dear gods, my dear friends, and my dear masters, my dear gods. A very beautiful sentence, which is told by Patri Ji. And I would like to I would like you all to introduce you all and myself to this Patriji celebration as my dear gods. So this is Swapna from Nashville, Tennessee. I welcome you all for the celebrations of Patriji. So I would like to start by saying how I got introduced to this meditation. My friend Lavanya Kandipati, she introduced me to this wonderful meditation in 2000 around COVID time. And since then, uh, the only reason why I wanted to do meditation was just to have a good sound sleep and remove my negative thoughts. That's all I wanted. She told like, whatever you, you say is going to become a magic. So that was the only intention which I had around that time. And when I did first time meditation, I slept like a baby. And since then, I got attracted to meditation and I wanted to do more and more meditation. I was not expecting anything except those two things. And without me knowing, I just, I got so used to meditation and it became as part of my life. And gradually, I started seeing a lot of benefits and then started sharing uh, and spreading the meditation to everyone. In this process, I got a chance to meet with Patriji in an enlightenment hour. And because of Chandra sir, and I um, say my heartful gratitude to him. And at that time, that was the time which I spoke to him. Honestly speaking, I did not had any, um, I, I, I was, not knowing that he is a very great person or anything, but I just uh, I had to share my experience. And when I shared my experience and when I told him that how I'm spreading the meditation, he was very happy and he said all the best and keep doing. That was the only thing which happened. But magically later on, what happened is I believe in Shirdi Sai a lot and he gave me multiple times that they both are same. They both are no difference. And slowly I got, I, I started loving Patriji so much that I didn't want to call him as Patriji, but I started calling him as Patri Baba because Baba means everybody knows that he is the father, father who takes care of all, every child and every child, as in like, you know, we all know about the mother love, how she's like, she's seen in front of us and she takes care of us. But father, he does not show directly, but he has so much of love for us. And he always successful in our lives. So that is what Baba is. And to me and for all of us, I know may everybody has experienced this and I truly believe that you all believe in that too. Every step he is there and he came for all of us to remove our ignorance and move us towards the path of enlightenment. So that is since then I, I just see him and the the smile of him always attracts me. Even now, look at on the flyer, how happily he's smiling, how, how beautiful and how energetic that is. So it gives me so much of happiness when you are, when you, when you feel a little bit down, just look at that face and everything goes away. So that is a father, that is, that is the true guru. And he taught us so much in a very simple way. I'm so blessed. So I had, since I had so many, I had, I did not had any physical interaction with him, but astrally multiple times, he gave me so many visions. Like he took me to the place where he was playing the music and I was like literally standing there and listening and enjoying his music. He saved me from multiple things. 
and he ate at my home and all those so i was so happy by by meeting him astrally by he he assured me every moment that i am there with you and last year we planned to go to india and everybody will be excited i know basically living who all are in us whenever they want to go india they are excited and the more excitement for me to meet my parents or my family i was more excited to meet patri baba and i went i was planning to meet him in kartal or wherever he was i was planning to meet him i went i went to kartal knowing that he was there but um i don't want to say i was unlucky maybe earlier i said but i don't want to say that anymore i would i could not meet him because he was unwell and uh, they did not allow me i was little bit sad yes how why i came for you and when we want when we are desperately wanting to see you why can't i meet you physically and uh, spend couple of times couple of minutes with you then later on july 17th when i came back home um i had a vision where i was sitting right next to him and we were meditating and as soon as we meditated he stood up right in front of me he looked into my eyes and with his hand he blessed on my head and he said that i am with you so i was so happy later we came back to india on saturday in the following saturday on 23rd night and 24th morning we heard that he vacated his body i was so i felt so bad that he left so early uh but i was okay like after some time i was like okay okay no worries because that moment when i was working in my kitchen he was there with me i felt his presence and i was for half an hour he was right with me whatever the work i was doing he was with me and all that so at that moment he assured me child i'm with you all the time i'm not in this physical body exactly the same way when shirdi sai said assured everyone that i'm everywhere patri baba also assured me that i'm not bonded to this physical body but i am eternal i am with you all the time i am with you whatever you are doing whatever the place you are going whatever you are learning and whatever the work i am with you so i felt really really happy by understanding that i know i'm i'm still in the process sometimes i feel that you know why i didn't see you like why couldn't i meet you but it's like you know I, i'm i'm not fully you know enlightened yet right or i am in the path but i mean i'm human still i did not become a god yet because we are all going to become gods very soon as he wanted us to become so my journey with patri ji and recently um i was reading a book thousand seeds of joy in that lord krishna when there was a conversation between um the author and radha devi lakshmi devi she says that uh, i came in the form of radha i came in the form of uh, rukmini and all the gopikas it's not for krishna to help him it's not that he is not in he is not complete he needs any of our support but while we are with him we also become like him we will understand we will become we will go to his level so in the same way it's not patri baba has brought all of us to this you know, this planet because he wanted us to make us understand to teach us that you are not any human you are gods so you are just like me you are all enlightened masters so i could relate that so i just wanted to share that because we sometimes think we are humans and we are bonded to limits but no we are not bonded to limits we are more than what we think that is what i feel and um um so this is my journey with him and i 
promise, I promise and I say that until my last breath, I'm going to work on what the principles he told us and I'm going to be there for whatever he wanted us to do or whatever he wants us to become. So, love you, Patri Baba. Love you so much. Thank you so much for giving us, for making us all our family. And I also want to say one more thing that uh, Dhyana Jaga Dhyana Jagat, Shakara Jagat, Pyramid Jagat. That is what he wanted all of us to move forward. So uh, I'm with him in that too. And uh, I know I wanted to say a lot, my dear friends, but whatever is coming from my heart and whatever he wants me to speak, I'm just saying those words. And thank you so much for giving this me for giving this opportunity to me. And thank you, Sheetal, for the celebrations of Patriji. Thank you so much, my dear friends. <laughs>